Okay, so I passed the test and, you know, at this point, it kind of gives me certain ideas on, you know, where I want to go next. But just to show you guys, you know, where to start or where it started. Okay, so if you look at this book here, this is the old book. It's also massive. Um, so this is the actual this is actually the test that you know took me out. Okay. So this is the one I failed, right? Now, if you look closely here, you can see where it says CCNA exam 100-105 and you have 200-105 and you have 200-125. Now, before they reintroduced the test, it was, you can take the first two exams and be considered a CCNA uh, certified associate. Or you can take the one exam at the bottom, which is 200-125, and be considered a, you know, certified associate as well. So, this book took me out. So what happened was I kind of put it to the side, you know, you know, I was kind of like, man, you know, well, forget CCNA, you know, <laughs> that's how, that's how I felt after failing the test. But, um, I kind of, you know, put my, I put my, um, you know, I, I put my hat back on and said, you know what, let me, let me get back at it. You feel me? And that's what I did. I didn't give up. I stuck with it. And, you know, after taking this beat down with this massive book and then grabbing another massive book, which was actually two combined into one. One is volume one and the other is volume two. And you see one is a study guide and one is just, you know, just giving you the understanding of the actual test and, and it has different tests inside you can take as well. But taking this new technology and combining it with the old technology, it kind of gave me a new way of understanding the test, you know? It... It, it, it gave me more information, I guess. You know, it, it, it helped me to, you know, combine the new technology with the old technology and understand the difference from, you know, doing a lot of routing and switching as far as VLAN and all that. And then, you know, adding the uh, security and the, the wireless and the automation, you know, all of that is... This is really all the only thing that's really new that they added. So you can see the difference in the two and you'll say, well, okay, well, if that's, that's all it is, then I know what I need to focus on, you know? And that makes it routing, switching, VLANing, and security, wireless, and automation. The majority of the test is going to be about that. So that's what I did. And it worked. But the one thing that I don't like that Cisco did, um, what they did was they, when you pass the test, they don't give you an actual score anymore. They just give you the the layout of, you know, the different areas that you did good on. Well, they break each area down and they just give you that. So actually having both books really helped me to understand the way Cisco or, you know, the route that Cisco was going with it as a network engineer, it's like, okay, I get it, you know? So they actually did good with this. I want to, I want to say, you know, big up to Cisco for actually, you know, designing it the way they did. It really helped me pass, you know, before it was kind of like just taking the old test. It was just so difficult. It was like, what is, what is this? Like, why am I? Why, why am I doing this? Like, what, what does this mean? Or what does that mean? Or why are they asking me this question? You know, it was just too confusing. But 
with the new one, I was good. Now, I mean, moving forward from there, it's kind of like, I think that I'm going to focus more on security now. I, I want to make everything that I do in my IT career now, is I want to focus on security. So I want to do the, you know, the security plus. That I think that would be my next option. And then from there, I would say CCMP security. Um, I, I prefer to skip, skip enterprise. I'd rather go straight to security and just make that my main focus. And from there, I think I'll do, you know, cyber. I'll just say, just make everything cyber from that point. But yeah, um, you know, these tests is not, it's not as hard as they used to be. So if anyone's telling you, hey, you know, it's, it's really hard, you can't do that, you can't do, you can do it, man, you know, you can do it. It's, it's, it's not as hard, it's just a lot of information. That's all it is. It's a lot of information. It's just a lot of information. And it's not necessarily programming, because I hear a lot of people saying, hey, you know, Cisco is programming, and they have DevNet, but that's the more programming side of Cisco. And I just, you know, some people need to understand the difference in the two. DevNet focus more on networking and programming. Cisco is not necessarily programming. You're dealing with routers and switches and commands. You know, it's not, it's not really programming. Some programming is there, but it's not really programming. So, yeah, I just wanted to clear the air with that because some people, they kind of, you know, make us as engineers like look at them and say hey okay that's not it okay <laughs> that's not it like don't you're mixing it too you know <laughs> so yeah so i'm the nerd boy with nerd boy pcs and thank you for tuning in and if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this you can always like and subscribe and hit that bell button Okay, catch you guys in the next one.